Okay, so I should be finding zeros of y is 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 for 3.113. Should I have finally figured out the right problem? Okay. Uh, what's the zero of a equation at all? It hits the x-axis. Yeah. So I'm looking for where this thing hits the x-axis. On the x-axis, y is <coughs> zero, right? x-axis, right? The equation of the x-axis is y is zero. What's the equation of the y-axis? x is zero. x is zero. So if you want y-intercepts, you put x is zero in. That's a which category of thing? Y-intercept. Okay. So if you do y-intercept, right? Yep. You kind of think to yourself, x is zero. Mm -hmm. That would be, I would plug x is zero into that, right? Yeah. And that would be Categorically, a evaluate or a solve. Oh, so evaluate. evaluate. That's an evaluate, right? Which you might think is easy, at least easier, right? So on this, we're asking for the zeros, which are the other one. So we're solving. Right. So we're looking for zeros. So we're thinking x-intercepts. So we're thinking y is zero. So we're thinking solve. So we're thinking R. Okay. So that was a long-winded way of take zero, set it equal to nine x squared plus six x plus one, and then what? Or sure, you think of those three things. So yeah, well, you first, have first you got to think half a second about cleaning the square. Yeah, you have trace options, right? Firstly, one should consider cleaning <coughs> the square. Cleaning the square. Which doesn't affect that. This is Yeah. So you might notice that this is a perfect square trinomial. <laughs> yeah. To notice that it's a perfect square trinomial, what are you thinking? Every aspect is a square kind of close. The front and the back are Yeah, the squared. front and the back have to be something squared, and the middle thing has to be twice the product of the things that are squared to get these. That should look like something squared plus 2 times the first thing times the other thing that's squared at the end. This is a PST. So a perfect square trinomial looks like something squared at the left side, something squared at the right side, and in the middle, twice the first thing times the last thing. Which you might note here is What's 9x squared? Yeah, that's 3x quantity squared. Yeah. And 1 is 1 squared. One squared. And so you might note, OK, like, is this thing in here twice 3x times 1? It is indeed. <laughs> so you could notice, like, OK, so if I notice that PST, then I'm getting 0 is 3x plus 1 quantity squared. And then I could square both, square both sides? Square root both sides. Hit both sides with a plus or minus square root. And I'm guessing this is where the weirdness happened. Take one. You got a zero under the. No, I just messed it up. I, that's not where it was weird. Oh, okay. I just factored it differently and it didn't come out well. Ah. So I think I have plus or minus zero is 3x plus 1. Yeah. And then. Isolate your x. Yeah, get the x by itself. So x is minus a third plus or minus zero. <laughs> So x is minus a third twice. So it only hits once? Yeah, so this thing hits once. It's, that it's feels parabola. weird, right? Because it's a parabola. So, so does that mean it goes like this? Uh -huh. Still a parabola pointed up, right? It just. I know it's pointed up because it's got a positive coefficient on the x squared. That that's where the vertex is? Yeah, that's where the vertex is, and it just so happens to be on the x-axis. Um, so 
right? I know that's the vertex because really, I noticed that not only is zero equal to three x plus one quantity squared, but also actually the whole function is three x plus one quantity squared plus zero, right? So this is no vertical shift, there's a horizontal shift and some horizontal compression. Yeah, so what if it was going up and had a vertical shift? Well, something like that might look like, like new y is 3x plus 1 squared plus 1, right? Mm -hmm. But then there wouldn't be a PST thing. Well, there I mean, that's still a PST, right? Yeah. So if you set 0 equal to this and try to solve, right? Like, how do I know this thing doesn't hit the x-axis right now? Because you did a vertical shift. Yeah, because I took that thing that I knew hit the x-axis just once and then moved it up one, right? Yeah. So this is the same function I had, but up one. So this shouldn't have any x-intercepts. How do I see that? Well, when I set it equal to zero, what do you do? Subtract one. Yeah, subtract one. So you get negative one is 3x plus one squared, right? Already know zero's gone. So when do you get negative number out of a squaring? A positive number. Or negative wait oh I see what you're asking. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You guys see that? Like to get a to get a negative result here out of squaring something, I'd have to plug in some kind of in complex number, number stuff. Yeah. And I'm trying to find the x intercepts. That's in the like real number land, not mm -hmm. complex number land. Cool. So it doesn't have any real x-intercepts. It does have some complex x-intercepts. Cool? All right. 